how to change your life according to what Allah wants and what the Prophet Sallallahu the way of life. Look, first of all understand something. We cannot change our life by our own selves. In order to change your own life according to the commands of Allah and living a life according to the Prophet Sallallahu the number one, you need a strong determination that you want to change it. Because in Quran Allah says, I will not change the conditions of those people of those nations who does not have a determination because you do not have a determination for example you're just sitting you're just sitting and you're doing nothing and you're calling Allah oh Allah please send you help oh Allah please send you help how are Allah we going to send you help first of all you need to get up find the help yourself then Allah will help you this is what Allah is talking about in the Quran I will not change the conditions and the calamity of a nations who does not have a determination who does not even want them and you just keep calling Allah keep calling Allah for nothing because you let's say for an example you're sitting in a club like any alcohol bar and you're calling Allah oh ya Allah please make me a pious oh ya Allah please make me a person with taqwa you're sitting in the bar you're asking Allah to give you the, to uh, to make your life as a pious and to make your life with taqwa how can Allah can do that number one a human being you must have to have a strong determination you need to change you want to live a life according to Allah you need to love it according to the commands of the Prophet and you want to please Allah and you want to please the Prophet then you need to leave that bar you need to leave that bar and go live the life according to Allah and the Prophet and how to change your life it's start from the morning up till your sleeping time how you are living a life just Let's do the math. Let's do calculate our entire day. When we wake up, what do we do in the morning? We straight go to the bathroom. We get fresh up. We take the break path and start doing our own work. When we and at our work, when we come back, we sit on the TV and social medias and we sleep. This is a common Muslim life. This is what they do. What a person do want to change his life, you start your day with the name of Allah. This is most important. Adopt those things what Allah likes. At the same time, you need to start fighting those things what is forbidden. So it's parallel. Both things are straight. At the same time, you adapt the life of the Prophet ﷺ. At the same time, you need to stop those things. So it goes together and you become more strong in there. When you wake up in the morning, you start the day off by the name of Allah. Open your eyes and you say some zikrs like Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Wala ilaha illallah, Wallahu Akbar, Wala hawla wala quwata illa billah aliyya lazim, La ilaha illallah, Wala hawla wala shrika lao, La hal muku wala hawla hamdu, Yuh yi wa yumid wa hawla kulli shayin kadir. Then you say a couple of dhru, then you say Surah Fatiha, then you say Surah Ikhlas, Surah Al-Falaka, Surah Al-Nas, then Aydal Kursi and two verses of uh, the last of uh, Surah Baqarah. Then you go to the bathroom. You say a dua when you enter the bathroom. When you come to the bathroom, you say dua. When you're starting the breakfast, say Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Say a beautiful some dua before starting it. When you finish the breakfast, you say a dua. Then have a Quran. At least majority of the Muslim does not do that. Make your daily routine because making your changing your daily routine will change your life. If you are not changing your daily routine, your life does not change. I was just talking about the person who, from Bani Yisrael who killed 100 people and yet Allah forgave him. Yet Allah forgave him. Allah says, I will forgive you, but what do you have to do? You have to change your environment. You need to change your life. Because a person is sitting in a club and he's asking, Oh, Ya Allah, please make me a beautiful, nice Imam. Oh, Ya Allah, make me a good Imam. Ya Allah, make me Hafiz of Quran. Ya Allah, make me memorize. The. Ya Allah, I want to adopt the Prophet of the life. You're sitting in a bar, you're sitting in a club, you're listening to music. You are doing some un-Islamic actions and you're making Allah to do that. You need to get up from there. First of all, you have number one, you have to have a determination. Your own self. Oh Ya Allah, make me strong. I want to be strong. That's it. I don't want to be doing it anymore. Go make a tour of Allah and ask at du'a. For your own guidance. Ya Allah guide me like those people on them you have special sent your blessings. 
make me like them then Allah will help you have to ask the hidayah for yourself if Allah knows that you you are determined and you want to do that then Allah's help will come for you because by sitting and you're doing something unusual things and un-islamic thing and you keep making a dua you dua is not going to, you're not going to be accepted number one determination number two your daily 24 hours life your daily 24 hour life is what is changes your life what we start the day of from the waking up at the time of sleeping how are we spending a day if you are entirely you are on social media, watching TV, you are watching on, on a YouTube, you are watching on a TikTok, useless we look how shaitan pulling a human being, how shaitan pulling them, wasting their time, they are doing like this, ding, 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 all day, and hours and hours and minutes passing. In 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, you can finish 1000 dhruts. In 30 minutes, 1 hour, you can do a lot of duas. In 30 minutes, in one hour, you can memorize so many du'as. Even so many verses from the Quran in one hour. But how shaitan plays that? He's wasting your time. What his, his main point is to keep your brain what was exactly you're supposed to do. But distracting you from Sarat al-Mustaqim to somewhere else. This is what the shaitan does. He's keeping you away. But keep your mind straight. I want to follow what Allah says. I want to do what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says. This wasting time on social media, okay, I will not do it again. You know what happens? When you open the phone, you see something and you keep going, keep going, keep going. It does not stop. It does not stop. After one hour, you realize, wow, one hour has passed. How has it passed? Because you opened that thing. So don't even open that. Stop that thing. Facebook, YouTube, TikToks, wasting of time. Let me ask this question to myself. If, if I'm doing that, how is that helping me in my life? Is it pleasing to Allah? Is it pleasing to the Prophet ﷺ? Nothing. Who is it pleasing to? Shaitan. The devil is getting happy. He said, this person is so stupid. He's wasting all his day, wasting a time, wasting of time, wasting time. So his life is gone. When he gets old, he's being presented, he's standing before Allah. And Allah will ask him, what did you bring to me? Oh yeah, Allah, I was watching this news. I was watching, there was a huge, uh, there was a celebrity. This was happened to him. And there was some political problem going on. And I was watching that. This was very important. So Allah will say, have a nice day. Then you go to Jahannam then. Because this is not what I have created you for. You wasted your life in useless things. So wasting time is the major part, mission of a shaitan. This is what he does, wasting your time. Number one, determination. The way... The day, the way, the time we wake up, at the time of sleeping. What we have done in the entire 12 hours or 14 hours? Did we start it with the Quran, the reciting a Quran? Reading a Quran recitation is a different thing. You're reading, you're running your words and you close your Quran and you put it aside. But the recitation is a beautiful way. This is where Allah wants you to spend the time with Allah. You start the day of with Azkar. You start the day of, when you open your eyes, the first thing comes in your, on your, in, in your tongue is the zikr of Allah. You go to the bathroom, you have a zikr of Allah. You come out of the bathroom, you have a zikr of Allah. At the time of breakfast, going to the world, coming back from the world, how are you spending your time with your family? All these things matter. That's what determination is. You need to stop all these things at the same time, hold the hands of Allah, and then you become, then your life will have a taqwa. If your life has a taqwa, you get more close to Allah and away from shaitan. And shaitan doesn't want you to do that. He wants you to stay with him and do what he wants you to do. That, that's over here. The shaitan is right here. He tells your brain what to do. He communicates with your brain. What he does? Let me check the news for today. He's smart. He's smarter than a human being. He tells you, open the phone and let me check the news. Because he knows that when you open the news, something will come up and something will come up, something will come up and again and again and again and now your brain is gone. This is what happens, you're wasting your time. So if you have an intention to change your life, you have to have a determination and adopt and spend the time in the correct way. Spend the time, all those are pious people. Spend the time with those people have a taqwa. Spend the time where you learn the knowledge of an Islam. This is how you spend your time, then your life will be changed.